everyone, I'm Kathy May from Central Washington University's Office of International Studies and Programs. Today we're showing you an easy, healthy, and affordable recipe made by an alumni from Edmonds College Culinary Arts Department. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. My name is Carter and today I'm going to be making uh, chicken and rice and then I got a little corn salsa on the side as well as uh, some roasted broccoli. So a decent amount of pepper and a decent amount of salt. Just kind of aim it high so it kind of spreads all over the chicken breast. Uh, if it's gas, you don't want the flame to be too overwhelming because the pan will just smoke and it will be too hot. And if it's electric, you just want to put it on medium or medium high. You want to get the oil all over the pan. And you want it to nice, make that noise. So you know the pan is hot enough. Uh, after you handle raw meat, you want to wash your hands for sure. Uh, I have broccoli right here. This, this is perfectly fine like this. Uh, I would say that this is just a little too big. So you're trying to aim for something like that. And you want to add a little drizzle of oil, some salt, and some pepper. And then once you have all that, you just want to toss it nice and top. And you don't want to overcrowd it, so you want some space nice and even. And flat surfaces you want down so it gets that nice caramelized. And the smaller pieces you don't want on the edges because they'll just burn faster. So you want to keep these big ones on like the corners and the outside. So I preheated my oven to 425 and that's how I'm just going to put it in. So you want that nice sear, see on the edges. Uh, the chicken, I'm just going to drop it in the oven. It's already preheated to 425 so we'll just drop it in there. You need to make sure that the pan that you have is safe to go in the oven. Um, so this one in particular, uh, is, you can put it right in the oven and nothing will happen. I'm making all the searings on the chicken because it looks a lot nicer than just throwing it in the oven. And it also, I think it tastes better. You can kind of taste the sear. I wouldn't call it caramelizing, but it's on the same plane of why you caramelize the broccoli in the oven. It's why you want to put the broccoli um, sides down. It gives it a better flavor in my opinion. You just want to throw it in the oven. I'm going to make my corn salsa. So what I have here is uh, I have some corn. Today I have jalapenos uh, that I just diced really fine. And then I got some onion. And I also have a little bit of lime and cilantro. And for saute, you want it pretty high. Not too high, not all the way. So I'm going to add some zucchini uh, today and I cut my zucchini to little moons and pretty pretty thin not too thin but you don't want them super thick otherwise they won't cook all the way through and you want to be consistent otherwise if you have a super thin piece versus a super thick piece this isn't that thick but they're gonna cook differently and the same thing with the chicken if you put it in the pan and you don't hear anything that's not you need to get your pan a little bit hotter. Um, so what I'm doing right now, this uh, takes a little bit of practice. I first learned with beans in a, a small pan, um, but this works just as effective. I'm just trying to mix it around so they're not sticking to the bottom and getting too brown. So the corn's gonna add a little bit of water too, which is good. A little bit more of salt. And I'm adding more seasoning because I got more ingredients. And if you don't have any seasoning, you got no flavor. And that is good. Uh, so there's other things that you could do to flavor this. So number one, uh, this, the rice, you could um, 
like I said, you could add the salsa to the rice. You can make a rice pilaf. You could even make a risotto and serve it. Um, there's other ways that you can make the chicken. So if you are lucky enough to have a grill, you can grill the chicken and um, you can add barbecue sauce, teriyaki sauce, um, anything you want to add. There's other ways that you could even make the broccoli. You could steam the broccoli instead of roast it. I just personally think that roasted is better. You could always sub something out for the corn salsa, like, uh, like I said earlier, the poblano peppers instead of jalapenos. Or you could even switch out zucchini with another veg.